Maxillary first molar and mandibular first molar are two cornerstones of the oral cavity. Let us discuss the differences between the two teeth. From the midline, both first molars are the sixth tooth, but are on different arches which gives them different tooth numbers in various tooth notation systems. Coming to chronology, both molars erupt at an age of around 6 to 7 years and are the first permanent teeth to erupt in their arches. Though, generally speaking, maxillary first molar erupts after mandibular first molar. Both molars develop from five developmental lobes. Mesiobuccal lobe, distobuccal lobe, mesiolingual lobe and distolingual lobe are same in both but the fifth lobe in maxillary first molar is the fifth cusp lobe and in mandibular first molar is the distal lobe. One lobe develops one cusp, therefore both teeth have five cusps though in maxillary first molar there are four functional cusps and one non-functional cusp. On the other hand in mandibular first molar all five cusps are functional. Maxillary first molar has three roots whereas mandibular first molar has two roots. Moreover, in mandibular first molar, both roots have a developmental depression on their mesial and distal surfaces giving them an eye beam appearance. There are no developmental depressions on maxillary first molar roots. Coming to their dimensions, in both first molars, crown length is equal. The mesodistal dimension is more in mandibular first molar whereas the buccolingual dimension is more in maxillary first molar and the roots are longer in mandibular first molar. Now let us study the differences in their morphology in detail starting with the buccal aspect. In both molars, the outline form of the crown is trapezoidal in shape. From the buccal aspect, in maxillary first molar, two cusps are in front, mesiobuccal cusp and distobuccal cusp. Whereas in mandibular first molar, three cusps are in front, mesiobuccal cusp, distobuccal cusp and distal cusp. Moreover, the buccal cusps in mandibular first molar are flatter than the buccal cusps in maxillary first molar because of which more of lingual cusps are visible in mandibular first molar than in maxillary first molar. Maxillary first molar has one buccal developmental groove whereas in mandibular first molar there are two buccal grooves mesiobuccal developmental groove and distobuccal developmental groove. In maxillary first molar all three roots mesiobuccal root, distobuccal root and lingual root are visible. In mandibular first molar both mesial root and distal root are visible. Moreover, both mandibular roots have a distal tilt not present in maxillary roots. Next, lingual aspect. From the lingual aspect in maxillary first molar three cusps are visible mesiolingual cusp, distolingual cusp and the cusp of carabelli. Whereas in mandibular first molar, two cusps are visible, mesiolingual cusp and distolingual cusp. In maxillary first molar, mesiolingual cusp is larger than distolingual cusp, whereas in mandibular first molar, both lingual cusps are of equal size, though the mesiolingual cusp tip is higher. In maxillary first molar, all three roots are visible and in mandibular first molar, both roots are visible. Next, mesial aspect. The outline form of the crown of maxillary first molar is trapezoidal in shape, whereas in mandibular first molar it is rhomboidal in shape. In maxillary first molar, three cusps are visible mesiolingual cusp, mesiobuccal cusp, and the cusp of carabelli, whereas in mandibular first molar, two cusps are seen mesiolingual cusp and mesiobuccal cusp. In mandibular first molar, the cervical line is slightly tilted with its lingual side being more occlusal than its buccal side. No such tilt is there in maxillary first molar. In maxillary first molar, only two roots are visible, lingual root and mesiobuccal root, whereas in mandibular first molar, only the mesial root is visible. In mandibular first molar, a developmental depression is visible on the mesial root, not present in maxillary first molar. Next, distal aspect. In maxillary first molar, two cusps are visible, the distobuccal cusp and distolingual cusp. Whereas in mandibular first molar, the two cusps in front are distolingual cusp and distal cusp. Moreover, in mandibular first molar, since the distal margin ridge is placed lower than that in maxillary first molar, more of occlusal surface is visible in mandibular first molar such that all cusps are partially visible. Not so in maxillary first molar. In maxillary first molar, all three roots can be seen whereas in mandibular first molar, both roots can be seen. Finally, the occlusal aspect. The outline form of maxillary first molar is rhomboidal whereas 
outline form of mandibular first molar is hexagonal. In maxillary first molar, the buccolingual diameter is more than its mesodistal diameter, whereas in mandibular first molar, the mesodistal diameter is greater than its buccolingual diameter. Additionally, in maxillary first molar, the mesodistal diameter in lingual half is more than in the buccal half. However, in mandibular first molar, the mesodistal diameter in buccal half is more than the lingual half. Both molars have five cusps. Mesolingual cusp, mesobuccal cusp, distobuccal cusp and distolingual cusp are same. Then in maxillary first molar, the last cusp is the cusp of carabelli, whereas in mandibular first molar, it is the distal cusp. In maxillary first molar, the largest cusp is the mesolingual cusp, whereas in mandibular first molar, it is the mesobuccal cusp. In maxillary first molar, there are three primary cusps, mesolingual cusp, mesobuccal cusp and distobuccal cusp and two secondary cusps, distolingual cusp and cusp of carabelli. Whereas in mandibular first molar, there are four primary cusps, mesobuccal cusp, mesolingual cusp, distobuccal cusp, distolingual cusp and one secondary distal cusp. Maxillary first molar has a ridge running between the mesolingual cusp and distobuccal cusp called the oblique ridge. No such ridge is present in mandibular first molar. In maxillary first molar, there are two major fossa, central fossa which is triangular in shape and distal fossa which is linear in shape. Whereas in mandibular first molar, there is just one major fossa, the central fossa which is circular in shape. Coming to the grooves, maxillary first molar has six grooves and mandibular first molar has four grooves. Both first molars have one central groove. However, in maxillary first molar, it is small and extends between the central pit and mesial pit. Whereas in mandibular first molar, it is longer and extends between the distal pit and mesial pit. As mentioned earlier, in maxillary first molar, there is one buccal developmental groove. Whereas in mandibular first molar, there are two mesobuccal developmental groove and distobuccal developmental groove. Maxillary first molar has a distal oblique groove running from the distal pit to the lingual groove not found in mandibular first molar. Additionally, in maxillary first molar, there is a transverse groove of oblique ridge and the fifth cusp groove not present in mandibular first molar.